Welcome back to Dinosaur Deep Dive, a series where we closely examine each creature known to Ark Survival Evolved. In today's show, come with me as we take a closer look at one of the most famous dinosaurs that is known in today's time, an imposing creature that was an armored, lumbering giant, but one who was docile in nature until provoked. This dinosaur is the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus, one of the many creatures that populated the Earth somewhere between 156 to 140 million years ago, this dinosaur was alive during the Jurassic period. It roamed the area that is now referred to as North America, and had possible predators in the shape of the menacing Allosaurus and even Ceratosaurus, as well as other large meat eaters. Now when it comes to the Stegosaurus' looks, it can be distinguished by its armor plating, on its back, and varying amounts of spikes on its tail. The large plates formed down the back of the creature have been speculated to be used in heat dispersion and temperature control, and possibly defense or mating purposes, while the spikes on the tail were mainly used for protection. The size of the creature ranged anywhere from 26 to 30 feet long and 9 feet tall, and weighed in at around 6,800 pounds. One fun fact that is well known is the fact that the Stegosaurus had a very tiny brain. Some paleontologists speculate the size of the brain to be no bigger than a walnut. Now, when it comes to Ark Survival Evolved, the Stego can be found in a wide range of places on various maps, from the beaches and forests of the island, to even the mushroom forest on Aberration, and not excluding varying spawn locations on both the center and Ragnarok. Now, this dinosaur is very widely known as one of the more, for lack of a better term, useless dinosaurs. However useless it may be, there have been some survivors and hunters known to utilize Stegosaurus in many different ways. It can excel at being an early game berry gatherer. Its higher weight stats make it a viable replacement for Parasaurolophus and even Triceratops. Because of this, some survivors use the Stego to mass farm important berries for certain recipes. Now, that's not to say that the Stego can't dish out some much needed damage when necessary. Because it is equipped with massive tail spikes, it can easily take down prey and predators that are much smaller than it and even on the same size as it. Because of its larger size, it can be used as a more tanky dinosaur. What I mean by that is it's capable of soaking up large quantities of damage from either other dinosaurs or even gunfire in PvP. With the Stegosaurus being docile until provoked, it is important to remember that even when not attempting to tame, it is better to keep a safe distance from them to avoid accidental aggro. Now that you are aware of some of the utilizations of Stegosaurus, let's get one of our own with this taming method. When it comes to taming Stegosaurus, it is imperative to remember that this dinosaur will kill you if you give it that chance. So in order to circumvent that chance, it is best to perform the ring around the rosy taming method. What this entails is this. Because the Stegosaurus is a very slow-moving giant, it is easy to take advantage of the solitary grazer by initially shooting it with a tranquilizing shot, and then simply running around it until you knock it out. As trivial as this may seem, it is a viable option to taming the Stego. Although this method does come with some risks, such as other Stegos in the area, larger carnivores coming out for a snack, and even environmental challenges such as cliffs, oceans, and dense forests, the key to a successful tame is to administer enough torpor damage in a short amount of time to where the stego has very little space to get away. So now that it's knocked out, what do you feed it? Well, the list of its favorite foods are as follows.
So now that you've claimed your Stegosaurus, let's review what exactly this dinosaur can be used for. With its large, sweeping tail, it is capable of harvesting mass quantities of berries and seeds. This not only allows the creature to feed itself, but it also brings forth the ability to stockpile important berries and ingredients for assorted recipes. The large plates and menacing spikes that adorn Stegosaurus enable it to be a very good mount when needing to soak up damage from both other dinosaurs, as well as gunfire from PvP scenarios. Because of its large spikes and general ease of tame, it can be used as one of the first tames or mounts that can dish out real damage compared to the carnivores in its size class. So there you have it, everything you need to know about finding, taming, and using Stegosaurus. Now I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Dinosaur Deep Dive, and if you have, be sure to tune in every Thursday at 4pm Eastern Standard Time for all new episodes. Didn't get a chance to see the previous two episodes? No worries, I've got you covered. Check the end card of this video, or click the card at the top right hand corner of this video to see those. Join us next week as we take an in-depth look at the Direwolf. Thanks for watching.